Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this look for you. I told you that I was going to be filming another full face MAC Cosmetics look for you guys. And you requested a day to night look or a summer night out makeup look. And that's what I created for you. This is kind of what comes to mind. Something you could wear day, night, for summer, or that I'd pretty much wear anytime. Could easily make this daytime and just skip out on the eyes, wear mascara, you're good to go. That's often what I do, just focus on really nice, glowy, healthy skin, some mascara, and I'm good. Or if you want to play up your eyes and do this really beautiful bronze look, really easy, you can wear it day or night, then I'm showing you how to create that as well. So if you want to see this whole look using only MAC Cosmetics, all tools, all products, then just keep watching. Starting off with skin prep, I'm using the Moisture Infusion Serum, and I forgot how much I love this stuff. It's really great as a primer, it really helps your foundation stick to the skin and also obviously hydrates your skin. Next I'm using the Fast Response Eye Cream. This is really good at awakening the under eye area as it has caffeine in it. I would always use this on brides prior to doing their makeup. For moisturizer, I'm using Strobe Cream. And MAC recently came out with a bunch of different shades in this. I'm using the gold shade, which is called Gold Light. It is definitely my favorite in the bunch. And then I'm going in with my foundation cocktail, which is MAC Pro Longwear Foundation in NC40. And I'm also mixing a little bit of their essential oils into the foundation and also using their beauty sponge to apply this to the skin. The oil is just going to sheer out the foundation a little bit, make it look a little bit more natural on my skin, as well as provide a nice healthy glow. I'm really focusing on glowing healthy skin for this look. And I'm going to take my time and press the foundation into my skin, as you can see in the upcoming clips. I applied two very light layers, and then at the end I do take quite a bit of time just to make sure everything is pressed into the skin. For concealer, I'm using the Studio Finish Concealer, which is great at spot concealing. However, I do actually like this underneath my eyes. I know a lot of people think it's a little too heavy and shouldn't go underneath the eye. However, I've never had a problem. I love potted concealers for underneath the eye, especially the Studio Finish. I've been using it for years and haven't had an issue with creasing or anything like that. Now I'm going to contour my face. I'm sticking to creams for this look because I really want the skin to glow. So I'm using this Quick Trick Stick, it's so hard to say, from MAC obviously, and I'm just going to contour my face. MAC has oval brushes in their range and I'm using the oval 6 brush which is their face brush to blend out this cream contour. I do find that this dries down quite fast so I went back in with a beauty blender just to make sure everything has a seamless blend and I also added some of that essential oils to my brush just to really help blend out that cream product because as you can see it does dry down quite fast. For powder, I'm using the Next to Nothing powder from MAC. It's a pressed powder. I have the shade Medium Plus here. And I'm going to use this to set my under eye area and I'm also going to set the rest of my face with this. This is actually my favorite powder of all time. I have just hit pan on it in this video as you can see. I obviously use it a ton. It's very rare for me to hit pan just due to the nature of my profession and doing makeup and trying out different things all the time. So for me to hit pan on something is quite a big deal. This is holy grail powder for me, best powder, pressed powder on the market in my opinion. It's even better than my Charlotte Tilbury. I just absolutely love it for a flawless, fresh face look without looking powdery. If you have dry skin and have not tried this powder, please go out and buy it now. <laughs> Using a deeper shade in the Next to Nothing pressed powder, I'm going to use a MAC 140S brush and apply this to my skin as a bronzer. Since I love the formula of this powder so much, it just looks so beautiful on the skin as a bronzer. It's not patchy at all. It goes on so smoothly and it's just the best bronzer ever. It's so good. You guys know I'm a huge fan of bronzers. It's like weird. Some people love their highlights, which I obviously do. Some people love lipsticks. I'm a bronzer girl. I love bronzers and this is definitely top five status for me. 
Now taking the Linear One brush from MAC, I'm just going to use this to quickly contour my nose. For highlight, I'm sticking to cream. I'm using the Cream Color Base in Pearl. As you can see, I hit pan on this, so clearly I love this color. It's one of my favorite highlights ever. I'm just using my same beauty sponge to apply this to the skin. It's just going to really melt in, look really natural. I'm also going to apply some to my brow bone above my eyebrow, and this is just going to act as some natural highlight to the skin as well as tie in that cheek highlight. For brows, I'm just grooming them into place and I'm going to set them with this Brow Fix from MAC. I don't believe they carry this anymore, but it's just a wax, so I'm sure you can use any kind of wax you have. You could even use soap. A lot of people do the soap brow technique that I'm going to show you now just with this wax. So it's going to really stick those hairs down on my skin so you can really see where I need to fill in my brows and see all the sparse areas. So I'm going to go very light handed with MAC Stud and just create very small hair like strokes to create my brows. Zooming you guys in, we're gonna work on the eyes. I'm using a synthetic blending brush and Rubenesque paint pot, and I'm going to apply that as my base just on my lower lid area. I'm not bringing it up to my brow or anything like that. I'm just keeping it on the lid. And then I made this little quad for you guys. Only these four shadows we'll be using. I'm gonna start off with cork, and I'm putting that on a 224 brush, and we're gonna use this as our crease color. So this is the perfect neutral brown crease color. I've gone through many of these in my makeup career. It's one of my favorite colors. I don't often use MAC shadows on my channel anymore, but this is one of my favorites. Just gotta let you guys know that. And I'm just going to softly blend that in the crease and then using a 217, I'm going to go in with bronze, put this in my outer corner and just lightly blend that over that paint pot that we have down. And then if there's any harsh edges, we're gonna go back in with that 224. Just using that same 224 brush, I'm going to take a little bit on the side of the brush of Honey Lust, which is a very glittery shadow from MAC. It has a lot of fallout, but it's very beautiful if you work it correctly. And I'm just going to lightly wash that over the eye just to create that very sparkly effect to the lid. And I think this is so pretty, but it does have a lot of fallout, just so you guys know and are aware of that. You can see it in the pan, it just kicks up a lot of glitter. And then I'm going in with nylon as my brow bone highlight. This is by far my favorite shadow that MAC makes. It's a very popular color. And I'm going to just put that on underneath my brow, blend it out with my finger. Your fingers are your best tools, so always utilize those. Doing the same with my other eye. This is going to be a daytime look. I probably would skip out on the eyes, even though I personally would wear this during the day because it's light enough for me. But for not wearing any kind of false lashes, I always like to use a primer. So I'd start off with this Lash Maximizer and then going in with Zoom Lash from MAC. And that's going to be my mascara combo. It's really pretty. I've used Zoom Lash since I was 19, I think. So it's been a long, long time. And I just think it's a beautiful mascara. Now I'm going to use some lashes. I have the 30s, which are the individuals, and then I have these 43 lashes, I believe the number is, and I'm just going to use MAC Lash Tool to apply those to my eyes, and then I'm going to custom them with the individual lashes. For the custom lash effect, I used two longs on the outer corner, a medium in the middle, and then I will be using the short ones on my lower lashes. And I believe I used about two of those on each of the outer corners of my lower lash line. Oh. 
For my eye pencil, I'm using an eye coal, and this is in the shade Teddy. It's a beautiful color because it's not just a flat brown. It does have some golden glimmer to it. So I'm going to tight line and also put that on my lower waterline. And then I'm just going in with my mascara and adding my individual lashes, the short ones from that 30 pack, on the outer corner of my eye. For my lips, I'm going to be using Etc. And this is a Pro Longwear lip pencil, very creamy. I'm actually going to use this all over my lips as my base lip color. I love this color on its own. However, I will be showing you how I lighten lipsticks. And I just recently got this lip mix from MAC. You can order it on their website or you can go to pro stores to pick it up. And it's in the color white, so it definitely lightens any color that you may have in your collection. If you like a light nude lip, or if you like lightening up any kind of lipstick, this is definitely something I recommend getting. And it's just going to give you that highlighted center in the lips. I love how it turned out. You can see that beautiful natural ombre, but I am going to add a little bit of gloss to this look. I'm using Myth from MAC, and I'm just using my finger to apply this because I just wanted a light amount of gloss on my lips. I didn't want them to be too glossy or anything. I just wanted to finish it off that way. And then I'm going to finish my face with MAC Fix Plus. That's going to complete the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this full face of MAC Cosmetics. Thank you so, so much for watching. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave. And I'll see you guys in my next one. we've changed And there's a storm inside my head It's getting me in trouble, baby And I can't breathe